continuing on with that self myofascial release warm up series, we're going to be talking about the glutes. Uh, there's a few cute areas that need to be addressed when it comes to glute training. Um, in relation to the hips, you have to understand that the hips, along with the shoulders and ankles, are very mobile joints. They're meant to be swung around and moved. So if you sit on your ass all day for a living, it's pretty tough to make sure that your hips are moving properly. It's probably going to be one of the best things that you feel. Um, but again, go check out the guidelines. Um, I've got a video on that, uh, and it's going to be in the link below the description. Um, as well, you're going to find a link to my blog, which talks all about self myofascial release and also cover some of the product reviews of things that are on the market. So let's get into glutes for warm up again. I'm not trying to spend a lot of time. We're going to be talking later about how to cover glutes for recovery. Uh, but right now I'm looking at maybe a minute in each position. Okay, so I've got a lacrosse ball. First thing I'm going to address is the top of the glutes. You have to understand that if I'm going to be squatting or deadlifting or lunging, all of these involve a lot of hip hinging. Okay, if I have trigger points in my glutes, that cause them to fall over or fall me, I can't push back, I can't move this hip back. I'm gonna be taking the pressure on my lower back. So if you're squatting and deadlifting, you're feeling it all in your lower back, either your form is off, or you may run into an issue where you can't hip hinge properly and you might find some good release in this. So I don't care who it is, I don't care if we're doing only upper body, I am still doing self myofascial release in the warm-up using the lacrosse ball. So what I wanna work on is first the outside glute area or the area along the waistband, a short or pant. The best way to do this, take the lacrosse ball. I'm going to put it on the side of my glute. Okay, so think about your jean pocket, your back pocket. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that leg, I'm working on my right glute, I'm going to take my right foot, cross it over. Okay, helps me relax the glute. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll around okay, against the wall. I can put as much pressure as I want to. When I find an area that's tender, okay, usually the top outside part of my glute, I'm just going to put some light pressure and little bits of rolling on it. Okay, feels good. Get some deep breathing in there. And you're going to roll around to the back. Try not to go near the tailbone. Okay, there's a lot of nerves in there. You don't want to be rolling around the tailbone too much. You're looking for meaty areas. Okay, so in the glute. So I'm going to roll around, and that feels instantly better. I feel already that I have an opening of my hips if I wanted to get into some leg work. So I'm going to do the other side. Again, if I'm on my left glute, I'm going to take my left leg off the ground, okay? Use the balance. So all my weight right now is on my right. Helps me relax the leg, and that's a big thing. If I'm flexing my glute, I'm not going to be able to get into it too deeply. Think about it as deep tissue massage. And rolling around, trying to scan, find those trigger points. When I find them, I can dig at them a little bit, okay? So again, same thing. I feel like there's a release of pressure. I can use my glutes better now. There are two ways to get at the piriformis, okay, which is a muscle that's highly responsible for many things as far as stabilizing the knee and external rotation. Um, some people run into a lot of problems if they have piriformis that has inflammation, um, especially if you sit for a living. Okay? So if you're in a car all day, if you're in a desk all day, uh, your piriformis most likely doesn't know what it's doing and it's most likely painful. So there's a couple ways to address it. I'm going to show you the easy way, unless you've got tons of balls to play around with. I'm going to take that same lacrosse ball as working on the top of my glute. And I'm going to put that into the middle of my glute. Okay. Now, I'm going to be on the ground. Something very important about tripoding is I need to be able to take quite a bit of weight off of this. Okay. If I'm working on my right glute, I want my right knee bent. Okay. I can bend that over top of the other leg, or I can just keep this down on the ground. I'm using my left leg and my two hands to take some of this pressure off the glute. I'm just going to roll around. Okay. And I'm just going to find an area that's tender. And then I'm just going to sit into a little bit. I can do some mobilization with the leg. That just feels good. A little around, see if I can find any more of those trigger points. Again, this is warm up. I'm not trying to spend a significant amount of time on maybe a minute or two minutes in each position, especially if you're working on leg stuff. So, again, middle of the butt cheek. Fold the leg I'm working on. So, left glute, bent in the left knee. Tripod, take a lot of weight off. Roll around, scanning. Trying to find that trigger point, and then I'm just going to sit into it, maybe do a little mobilization. Okay. Now, it is better, especially if you can manage the balance on this, to take this with a basketball, a soft, or a lacrosse, sorry, basketball, medicine ball, uh, soccer ball would do, a volleyball, anything that's about this size. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit into the same area. Okay. You're going to find that this is just more effective than the lacrosse ball. If I'm working on my left glute, I want my left leg bent, 
I'm going to hold this a little bit, and I'm going to roll side to side. Okay? Think about the middle of your butt cheek and rolling out towards your hip joint, which is the lineage of the piriformis. Okay? You're going to find a tender area. Again, little bits of rolling. So you're scanning okay, until I find an area that's tender, and I'm going to give a little bit of digging to it. I'm going to find another area, okay, usually outside the hip joint, and I'm going to go with that one. So I would obviously do both sides, but either lacrosse ball or medicine ball. Already huge release. I feel relaxed. My hips can swing freely. So if I'm going to squat, if I'm going to deadlift, I'm going to protect my back. Give that a try every single warm-up, upper body or lower body, but especially lower body. Check the links below.